Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at Papyrus Authors incremental backups. Now, this is useful not just for backup purposes, but also as reference points during your creating creative process. They're like snapshots of when the backups are made, so you can always refer back to them. We're also going to take a brief look at the usefulness of uh, backing up to external drives and cloud drives. So with that said, let's jump straight in. Okay, so what I want to demonstrate first is how Papyrus automatically turns on backups for you. So once your document hits a certain size, um, you'll be asked whether you want backups. So I've just copied in um, just under 5,000 words and I'm going to hit save. I always recommend turning on your backups. Um, because what it will do, it will make incremental backups of this document or whichever document you're backing up. And this applies to projects as well. So I'm going to turn it on and it will bring up the next window. And this will is where you can decide how many incremental backups you have. So what it's going to do is make six backups in the first 20 minutes. Then once it gets to be older than 20 minutes, it will do three, three and three. If you want um, your backup folder in a different directory, because by default you can see it just appeared there, um, it backs up to the directory where your document is. So if you want to specify a, a, a backup folder that you use for all your documents, if you like, this is where you would choose it. Okay, so I'm going to go apply and we're just going to keep it here. Apply, close and save. Okay, so now we're in my uh, work in progress and I'm going to go to um, my backup directory for my actual work in progress and back into my document settings. Okay, so I basically change all of these to five, no particular reason other than that's what I like. So you can see that reflected in my backup directory. Now, another thing I'll quickly point out is this thing here, OneDrive. I actually create all of my documents and uh, my projects in a OneDrive directory, which I then back up to another cloud drive. By creating your documents and your projects on a in a cloud drive directory, you've got another layer of backup there. It will automatically back up to the internet and indeed synchronize to any other machines you use. Um, so as well as then having your incremental backups of your main document, you're going to have backups of everything else involved with your document. So I just thought I'd point that out. Um, what I'll do now is go to global backup options. Now, the, this refers to the settings that every document will use from here on in if you change them. So for instance, by default, the location for your backups uh, is in the same directory as the document, you could change that. So for instance, if I was to tick this and save every document and project I created from here on in, this directory would be the backup folder that every single document used. The only thing I really change is the auto uh, save. I've set that to every minute instead of every 10 minutes, just because I've experienced power outages and I've lost everything before now. Okay, so I'm going to close that. We're then going to look at important backups. And an important backup is exactly what it sounds like. It's, for instance, if you reach an end of a first draft or, or something like that. So I'm going to imagine that I've just reached the end of my first draft. So I could put in a, a name. And as soon as I press save, you'll be presented with this. You just click OK and you can tick this box to stop it appearing again if you like. And you can see it's created that backup called first draft in the backup directory. This little blue sort of thing here is showing that I'm now backing up to the internet. That's gone green. It means that's now saved to the internet. You can also see it listed in the history and it's uh, listed as bold, showing that that is an, in, an important backup. I'll close this. You can also open those backups from this location or indeed the backup folder. So if I click on this tab, it will open the folder. And if I click on any of these 
and go open back up. I'll close that. You can see it opens that relevant document, which was an incremental backup uh, from four days ago. I'll close that. You can also open your backups from here. If you go to file and down to backups, you can see here all the names and files that are in this directory. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is cloud backups because let's say, unlike me, you're not you're not storing your main documents and projects on a cloud drive. You might just want to keep your backups there, which you can do from file, save to cloud. It will then ask you to set a path. So the path to your um, cloud backup would be the cloud directory that you have on your PC or Mac. So you would simply browse to that. So in this case, I'm going to go to Dropbox and Papyrus Backups, and I'm going to select that. You can also specify uh, a local um, path. So in this case, I'm going to select a path that's on my external USB drive. So what this does then, it saves a backup to my cloud directory, which was saved to the internet, then one also to my external USB. So I'm going to browse to that, which is E, iDrive Backup, select that one. So now I have two locations. You could also set a password if you wish for added security um, on the net. I'm going to close. So next time that I go to save um, to cloud, it will ask me whether I'm sure I want to save there. I'm going to go save and now we're going to go replace because I've already created that directory. Now this is important, this, this little pop-up here. Adopt new path or keep old path. If you keep the old path, what it will do, it will mean you continue to work on the document in whichever location it's already in. If you adopt new path, you will start working on that document from your cloud drive folder. I always select old path and the reason that I do that, you know then that all your files are always in whichever document, uh, whichever folder you created them in and all that's going to be in your cloud drive folder are backups. Okay, so there you have it. That was the backup video. Now, I really want to strongly uh, stress to you how important it is to backup. There's an old military adage that goes, two is one and one is none. If you don't back up your work, you're running an extreme risk of losing everything. I know this because it has happened to me. Back up to multiple places, cloud drives, physical drives, and so on. So until next time, see you later.